President Putin of Russia embarking on a history-making trip. Not just any trip, but his very first official visit to Africa. This isn't just a vacation, it's a sign of something big brewing. But what exactly is going on, and why is the West watching with a worried eyes? First stops, building bridges or something more. Putin's African adventure kicks off in Mali, Burkina Faso, Niger, and Senegal. These countries are rich in culture and brimming with potential. Is Russia simply exploring new partnerships or is there a deeper strategy at play? In Senegal, things get even more interesting. President Putin scores a coveted invite to the inauguration of their brand new leader, President Basiru Diomaye Faye. This high-profile appearance suggests a blossoming friendship between Russia and Senegal. Could this be a crack in the traditional alliances that have dominated the region? Russia welcomes Africa with open arms. Here's a move that's sure to raise eyebrows. Russia is throwing open its doors to citizens from some African countries. No more visas needed. They're even considering a complete visa-free policy for all of Africa towards end of 2024. Is this pure generosity or a calculated move to gain influence? Russia's generosity doesn't stop there. They're offering citizenship to Africans who choose to serve in their military. This offer even extends to those who fought in Ukraine. But is Russia struggling to fill its ranks or is this a way to build loyalty on the African continent. Meanwhile, Senegal's new president has sent a clear message it's time for France to step aside. Could this be a signal that Senegal is ready to embrace a new partner with Russia? Russia's growing influence in Africa is a cause for concern for Western nations. Is this the start of a new world order or just a temporary shift in alliances? Only time will tell what the future holds, but one thing's for sure. Russia's move Move into Africa is a game changer and the world is watching with bated breath. Leave your comment.